Why not? Cheers. <laughs> Say the best for that. Cheers. <laughs> Hi, welcome to another episode of NASA's Wednesday Musings. My name is NASA and I'm the chief muser. And I have my friends here, uh, Tina, who is my childhood friend and happy to have you here. She'll be, she'll be focusing on the, um, no, she'll be speaking actually from the uh, millennial lens. So she's, are you an older millennial or no, you're the... Myself, a traditional woman period. You're yeah, a millennial, sure. <laughs> she's one of the earlier millennials. And I have Tola, who is one of the, she's the ve- she's at the very beginning of the late millennials. I don't want to say her age, but you can guess. Hi, Tola. I, uh, what do you mean? You're a millennial, what are you? I am a millennial, I am a late. Yes, yeah, yes, that's true. There's the earlier millennials, and the, I don't want to say your age, that as well. But that's fine. Okay, she's a late millennial. So yeah, sort of closer to Gen Z. In a way, but anyways, and then we have Diko. <laughs> Diko is the generation that wasn't defined, Generation X. They were after the baby boomers and before millennials. As so Gen X, yes, undefined. The X is because we don't know. The, 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 you guys pushed back on being defined. There wasn't like a clear sense of identity. I think. Yes, that's mine. And, and but they were from now. And so the reason the millennial, the broader, the the late and earlier, is because there's lots of children born in that period as well. We're right. plenty. Anyways, so this episode we'll be talking about um, what's the topic? Even three P's of manhood. But let me just remind you: the last couple of conversations we'll be having has been um, around the broad topic of what traditional husbands want from their wives, and we talked about the phenomenon called office husband, which. Um, I thought it was quite interesting. I wanted to get other people's views on that whole concept because in the beginning, I just thought it was banter, but then apparently it's a thing where people have these close confidants in the office that are the opposite sex and it usually ends up being something more than what it should be. Then we also talked about my personal favorite site, the premium side chicks and um, versus, versus polygamy, which again, I just wanted to understand, you know, the whole concept of having a monogamous mistress when you're married and you think that you're offering like, you know, a value proposition that is compelling. So this time I want to talk about, again, through the lens of a traditional husband, what the role of a man is or a traditional husband, looking at the three Ps, protect, provide and procreate. If you're a new subscriber, thank you so much for joining. Please don't forget to like, share, comment and Turn on your notifications and for my existing subscribers, thank you for being part of this community and just remain with us. So I will now go into the first topic of this series or the conversation that we're having, which is um, trying to unpack the three P's of manhood, right? And I wanted to start with the context and why I wanted to have this conversation. So a couple of days ago, last a couple of weeks ago, I was having um, a conversation with my friend's husband and he said, he just said in passing, like, oh, you men just like, no, you women just like to receive and we men just end up giving. And I'm not complaining, but I'm just saying, and you know, it picked my interest because I thought, you know what, you are actually right. Um, women actually seem to be designed to receive mm-hmm. and men are designed to give. And let me explain what I mean to you. So if you think from the perspective of the three P's, if a man is providing and is a provider, the woman is created to receive and make that provision into more transformers. If you think from the lens of um, protection, right? If the man is a protector, he's protecting someone. So you, the woman is receiving that protection to feel safe and create a safe haven, uh, etc., and just, you know, create a sanctuary if you like for the man. And then if you think from the lens of procreation, again, the man is giving something, right? Correct. He's, he's providing things <laughs> that would end up receiving and you receive and turn that into children to multiply. So I like, you know what, maybe in truth that we actually, there are gender roles, contrary to what I would have liked to agree to in the past, like, no, everybody should just do them. But then there, there's also striking the balance. So 
I would like to start with anyone who wants to start. First of all, let's everyone understand. Diko, do you think that um, men have fundamental roles like traditional men? Absolutely. 100%. I think, you know, it's even biblical if you want to take it that far. Mm -hmm. men, men are designed uh, to love their wives the way Christ loved the church. So if you take it from that angle alone, automatically, um, we have to play the role of being protectors, providers, mm -hmm. see, you know, procreators to make sure that the next generation comes along. So right. I, I, it's it's a very hard task for London men to sort of swallow, but like, cool. at the end of the day, we are designed to actually play those very clearly defined roles, roles. Um, in, in, in the family life. Yeah, and I hear you. And I think that it's not just men, it's women, because it's almost like a, um, give and receive. So if you're playing that role, it's so that something else can happen. So the woman is also designed to receive that, to make it a whole, right? Tala, your thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> what? What's your generation again? Uh, Late to me, borderline. <laughs> I'm not even really sure what we're looking. Uh, you're so far from Genesis, but you can relate more than me. us. Older millennials. I would say, in terms of role, I agree. Oh, mm -hmm. hundred percent. I oh. believe that it's stuff that men should be doing, and it's stuff that women should be doing. But I think we're talking about the theory of the thing because what oh. in real life is. Follow <laughs> 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 that, right? <laughs> then you're young age. This, in my young age, that is not so much. So you know, if you want to go the age group <laughs> type thing. <laughs> We have seen stuff, our parents have shown us things, and that who anybody you follow, I always say that your first goal, so to speak, is your parents. They yeah. pretty much inform you as to how to receive love, how to mm -hmm. hate, how to exist. Mm -hmm. Sure. And I don't know to exist, to be fair. Mm -hmm. And we, I know that we're not going there, I'm not even trying to go there. There's a feminism, feminist argument that argues against what traditional gender roles are. That is yeah. older than, it's older than anybody that thinks it's a recent argument. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I also think that the way people are brought up fundamentally doesn't allow for gender roles to stick specifically. I've seen, we're talking about that three pieces again. Protect, that, provide, provide, and procreate. Have procreate. Procreation, naturally, and I know that exactly arguments. people will come and say, eh, their development, I'm not talking about those things. I'm talking about the events and the bees, what it is that we know. But it's okay, let's learn here, we're in Nigeria. That's where Ooh. you need two people. But there have been several situations, and I, I like the breakdown that you had in the beginning where you said, men, they provide, mm -hmm. they bring money, mm -hmm. men, protect, mm -hmm. certain way. I would argue, that women, mm -hmm. for the most part, have been protecting and providing. Oh, can we just hold our thoughts. I left. I, 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 <laughs> that I would like to get in a place where I know he, you, you said that your friend's husband said, mm -hmm. I'm not complaining, no. yeah, but I'm not sure <laughs> of him, that that's, that's true. <laughs> well, you think he was complaining? I know he wasn't complaining, but I feel like it's a low key thing. I saw, well, yeah, like why, why he went there, like, oh, what when a guy starts talking about her. A woman just take and that's all like a man is judged by his capacity to be able to provide and give this this that at the other end. yes like what is it true though it is true i it is true. argue with that but what then is that is that doesn't that sound like a complaint like when you're sitting down i say it's that thought i want you to hold this because we're going to come into that tina now hold it <laughs> hold it <laughs> okay so, um, yes, I believe very firmly in traditional roles. So I believe that a man is the head of a woman mm -hmm. and the woman has a supported role. Mm -hmm. Now, what does that mean to me? Right. Um, so for me, the man is sort of in charge. So mm -hmm. he's in charge of the vision. He's in charge of growth projections. Mm -hmm. He's in charge of certain um, and when I say both projections, but certain things that have to do with the standard of living of the family. Mm -hmm. So if that puts the cross protection, procreating and procreating. Exactly. So he's in charge of the very strong pillar. Women in a supportive capacity, obviously, now is in charge of making sure that those things either multiply mm -hmm. or 
but transforms it into war. It's like identifies gaps for you yeah. in those visions, uh -huh. projections, or whatnot. Mm -hmm. But I believe, and to speak to what you said about feminism, I believe that feminism for me means something completely different. <laughs> like, so for me, in the workplace, I'm an individual. But mm -hmm. at home, for me, it's so important. I believe very firmly in roles. I should not take over the man's role. Mm -hmm. And it should not be blurred. Albeit, I want to, just before we go into the next yeah. topic, but I just wanted to also be clear that mm -hmm. I'm not trying to say that a woman should not support the man in those roles. Mm -hmm. right? So for example, if a woman is, if a man is um, broke, yeah. Or if he has a vision that is not quite clear, the woman mm -hmm. should be able to sort of support support and, you know, um, argument. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The role should never be blurred. Wow. Awesome. I like your views and it's quite interesting. I like that we're having sort of divergent views and it's also quite balanced as well. There was something that Tola touched on, which is basically allowing us to segue into what I wanted to talk about. And it's how the three P's in your mind have um, shaped the concept of masculinity. So about a man's role is if he's not providing and protecting and procreating, he's basically then not a man in the real. So you can be male, but not a man. So your masculinity is defined by those three P's. Who wants to go first on that? Can I just say that? Sure. I think what the what the world needs now mm -hmm. are more, are more. I, I don't I don't want to take this down the the faith. We just mm -hmm. yeah. need more godly men. We need more men who actually fair enough for me on those principles principles of mm -hmm. you know of of the scriptures. Mm -hmm. You know, just because they say that a woman must submit to her husband doesn't mean that a man now uses that as a weapon mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that leadership is servant leadership absolutely and, and that servant leadership means that for me mm -hmm. in my household the way i see it working is everybody comes before me yeah and i'm perfectly happy mm -hmm. sitting back to make sure everybody i mean like right now the whole way no one here yeah mm -hmm. yeah and i'm i'm happy taking a backseat to everybody else's happiness mm -hmm. people say oh, but what about your happiness my joy comes from making sure my family is happy yeah right. that's and many people might not understand that I mm -hmm. think but for me that's what works because i understand mm -hmm. my role as a provider as yeah. a protector is to make sure that my wife looks great make sure my kids look fantastic I mean, everybody is because i'm mixed i'm mixed that's the animal man no, but also very biblical I mean, yeah I mean, yeah you know, and that for me it's what a man is and we blurred the minds. Sure, can't blur those minds and get away with it. I think it just needs the more commotion and mm. generally. So you wanted to react to that. First of all, I don't think he's any good thing anymore. But mm -hmm. very bad. He found it very abundant. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly like that. Um the question in terms of so when he said something about men having to take it. I really believe this thing. I was in my teens and I realized that something just, I don't know if it was Grace Reed that just said to me and I was like, what am I supposed to do with this information? Mm -hmm. It was essentially men in trouble. <laughs> when I in trouble? From the, in the sense of not what's expected. Not not knowing what's or being severely misguided. Women too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's, it's gone both ways, but yeah. The people that are supposed to take up a certain kind of hand to it, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. to, and they have it. Mm -hmm. Why submit to your husband? That's in the only Bible verse I know that a lot of men know. They remember that. They should go and understand that. They know. Even that chapter, they don't know it. They, 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 they don't know the precedent. They just pick out that one. Only one that they know. Mm -hmm. And that is why it's whatever is not understood or whatever it is. Yes. And um, really, honestly, I believe that in the blurring of the lies, that has been a joint affair. Hmm. It's not, it says men are not so responsible. The first thing I came to my brother and looked at his notes for this thing, I said, ah, mommies, eh? Mommies have done a real, a real terrible work. <laughs> you know what they want to do? And I've seen this. Mm -hmm. You know how the several narratives, that is why I said what we have is that I said. There are several narratives of, I'm a mom, mm -hmm. so I, I'm not saying this, I'm not oblivious. You're not absorbing. Oh, yeah. I'm not talking about narratives, examples of women mm -hmm. 
they have created printing. Mm, I see what you mean. They've not created the overprotect, yeah. In the sense of you have a kingdom. The chivalrous. The... You, it's not even sh- the chivalry. Mm-hmm. And then there's responsibility. And then there's forward looking. Mm-hmm. And then there's understanding that responsibility. Mm-hmm. You would be served. But that is not your primary. That is not your number one. You are going to serve. Mm-hmm. The princes do serve. They serve. Yep. They yep. are serving like leadership. They have created princes that have love with you. Mm. That's He's going to serve me. Out. Mm. <laughs> not only if you go, it's going to tolerate you, and she's going to fix. She's going to fix your gaps. In a sense, that's pretty much, I think. How old? But can I say something? Welcome to what you're saying. Um, I I think you can see the results of that behavior happening all the time, and and, and that's because again, men are not as shirking their responsibilities, right? Yeah. So. And they pick one. Husbands and wives mm-hmm. have come first before children. But in many, in many, the way the society is built today, mm-hmm. children come before either either spouse. Yeah. Right? Which is a huge mistake. And that's why you have a problem where What well, you saying where children, not, where they say mother's love, there's nothing like a mother's love, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well I, I don't see where that's written in the Bible, right? Yeah. No, it's not, so the focus should be on your spouse, is that what you're saying? Focus should be on your spouse. So so men need to be clear that Wives come first and mm. children come afterwards. And what else happens and vice versa. Mm-hmm. Right? So when a woman loves on her children too much, right? Too much. Then, you no, know, too much. Yes, I said too much. <laughs> she tends to give them a love mm-hmm. that she might not be getting from the spats. Yeah, so what and how does pass it when that child gets married, the mother sees the spouse as the enemy. Mm-hmm. And it's even like a complete handhold that did you come through that even different i was speaking to even bro you've created a prince you've loved him you've not you've not loved him there's a loving and then there's a cuddling there's a one the cuddle to the point that yes you haven't because you are not relating with your spouse mm-hmm. you are not getting you now tell your focus all your energy and attentions back yeah but <laughs> i've become that is giving you the he's the wise response oh, he's a baby <laughs> Mm-hmm. And he's listening to you because you're his mom. Yeah. Yeah. Just mom. You are not seeing that as if only this one protects me. And he and you know what it is that he's providing that he's protection for me anyway. that he's not giving me yeah. today. And then you now give him that submission. Mm-hmm. You don't call him to order. You don't <laughs> think <laughs> you now realize that some my even lucky so speaking, you have created something from there. Who is going to solve it now? Then you now start looking for one good girl <laughs> so that will panda has decided that I will while we will help you on life. I will face that I've done all this for you. Let your head on cheeks. <laughs> oh, what is all I give you from them? Then you pack it. <laughs> I pack it. I'm just clear. <laughs> like, <laughs> and that. And why did yeah. he has that? I think usually a lot of times when it comes to number one, mm. money. Mm. There is working you know, mm. But I don't see it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what they will party. So all the money. <laughs> come on, come on, sit down. Your husband's asking, and then that one we now. Um, so you know what, guys? Before before we go on, and because so that we can close this, because there's so much more to unpack. I would like us to go into each of the P's, right? I want to read this story that I stumbled upon on Instagram, and I will read it very quickly. So. This guy says, for 17 years, I have worked hard and not gone on more than one holiday except for work trips. Married this woman 10 years ago and I doubled down on work and more work. Always looking for better opportunities so that my children can raise their head high in this America as well. Brought up Nigerian Americans. I be Niger, I be Niger boy. I'm a provider and I own it. I'm responsible for my family and I don't ask my wife for anything. She works too, ends well, even though I, I earn more, but she's getting above average pay. She's a doctor here, but I never ask her for what she uses her money for. She buys things for the house, but I pay the mortgage, school fees, vacations, the major things. Recently, I became exhausted and I told my wife I wanted a break from work and I just want to sleep and wake up and not go anywhere or do anything. She said, how long do I want to take off? I said, I don't know. With what I do, I can get a job anytime if my company won't allow it. I felt my wife was supportive, but after a month of staying at home and just enjoying my children and resting, the pressure I've been getting at home to go back to work is something else. She reminds me every day that she didn't marry a lazy man. 
I told her if the savings finish, she will fill the gap. And she's not disappointed. She said she's disappointed in me. I feel terrible. <laughs> so um, this is a woman that clearly has expectations. And this is a man that also knows his role, right? He says, I take care of everything. And it goes back to that point that my friend's husband says that, you know, you women just receive and we give and I'm not complaining, you know, but is that low key complaints there? Like it's too much. And I also believe in balance, but what- Possibly, but I, I think again, and I'm going to come from a very hardcore okay. perspective, which is that's your job. <laughs> that's your job. Own it, right? It's Way of job. I'm not saying it's easy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You want to find ways to breathe. Like if you're swimming, mm -hmm. you learn to breathe find time when you cannot share your responsibility as a husband. Adulthood is not something you... Just you can... Yeah, you can't... I'm tired of adulting. You can do that, especially when you have kids. Mm -hmm. And the way we women, are, we women are designed, mm -hmm. we need answers. You can't just say, I don't know. Let's say one like me, that you need to take a break, right? <laughs> you need to be able to talk this thing. Yeah. You need to be able to shoot the end-to-end. -end picture yeah so if she's asking Let it make sense. questions like how long is this going to go on for she's projecting insecurity sure you didn't exposed you know mm -hmm. firm answers mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so yes the man has done well he's a provider he's done you know clearly he understands his responsibilities but just like Dico said if he needs to go on holiday or on vacation that's a different thing plan. if he wants to take a plan in from life then it's something that he needs to be able to articulate the end to end. Absolutely. What does this break look like? Sure. What if something happens? What if you don't get a job? Because I, mm. I, I mean, I, I heard you read it out and it's like, he's making it seem like he can get a job anytime. But what if he doesn't? Do you understand? Well, then he started off saying that, you know, he doubled down over. This is someone that is typically not lazy, but he just got a bit tired, right? Take a break and get back in it. That's what he's saying though. So, but he just mentioned this one undefined period. No, it's right. at the same time that he is. No, but hang on a second. Both of them have been working, right? He says he's been working way before he met her. He said, before I married this woman. So I've been working for 17 years. I met this woman 10 years. Uh, I've been married to her for 10 years, obviously. And what he's saying is, I understand my responsibility. I'm working hard. She too, she's working. I just want to take a little break and rest. I just don't know how long that break is going to be. One month after, a woman seems to be understanding at the beginning. But then one month after, which I think, ah, let's see more. It's like you're a lazy man. You don't know. So I think it much. Exactly. I don't even think, I didn't marry a lazy man. I think that that. That's a hard state. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's a hard statement. It's like, it's unfair. And it's unfair. What, what, what? <laughs> I think, honestly, that the yeah. only thing he did wrong, like she said, was not to give me a clear picture. To give some kind of timing or make the conversation a lot more structured let it be clear let it be a little, even if it doesn't work out that way mm. essentially let it be because that's the reason why she came back in one month to be fair yeah for somebody that has doubled down to be fair for someone that doubled down quote unquote mm -hmm. for 10 years and held, yeah. it together, and held it together she's used to something yeah she's seen him work he said exactly even if he wasn't taking a break and he was struggling that there was even a dialing down in the way he was mm -hmm. there would still be questions so it's fair for her to Come and be like, okay, how far? Yeah. I didn't marry an easy man. Yeah. To be fair, if someone has worked for so long, a guy, because I, I literally, I seen, I saw this when he was here. Yeah. yeah. And I didn't think about it. I was like, how would I um, react? React. And anyway, I, first thing I thought was like, I would be happy if he was able to take a break. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I would, if he was sitting at home and he was not having to go to work every day and he was able to be with our yeah. uh, kid, uh, he was able to do it for like a quarter. I want to say that even the one that I, um, I can't even look outside the truth, I just want to take him break, say, I don't want be, he doesn't want, he's checking out of life completely. <laughs> it's not a two paragraph conversation. What are we up? Why, what do you, why, why is he taking a break for that? <laughs> no, 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 she didn't say what, he's like, no, so I'm saying that, so he's not even supporting at home as well. Like, so he's taking a break. He's not going to help look after the kids if they're young kids to work. But I know who. Oh, no. That's not going to work. That, it's not even going to work. You, no, that's not what I'm talking about. You are dying down from here. The focus yeah. was work. Yeah. So, yeah. I guess because it was work, we kind of have some kind of focus. Yeah. 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 It's not saying, and I think somewhere in there, he was talking about how oh, that month he was just chilling with kids. Mm -hmm. and other. Yeah, just and taking a breather. Absent. And about or anything. He was actually, he was still actively involved in the house. He was actually involved at home. Yeah. And she's a doctor. That's a different schedule. Mm -hmm. I mean, that is, you kind of need that kind of 
Every support system here. Yeah. I think that's quite harsh. I don't see it as shirking his responsibilities. To be very honest, I don't. I don't. I don't say it as that either. As taking a break, yeah. Issue is when there's not a structured conversation. You're right. Yeah. At the very time and like, um, let's be clear about what is going to mean from both. Just yeah, yeah. What is what did he go? And so you know what? A lot of men find it difficult to have like robust conversations, and women are very logical. We want to know, and it always almost seems like, why are you asking me things I can't project into the future? But make it make sense, and it, that comes from a place of wanting to feel secure. And I think that's where we're going to move on to next as we're unpacking these three P's. But I think I just want to give my quick um, to round up this section. To my mind, this woman, like you said, I think she went so far in saying that he's lazy because, in truth, yeah, he's not. Yeah, he shouldn't. He's he's actually actually owned his role to play the devil's advocate not like i'm encouraging that any woman should badmouth her husband but you cannot call him this the show you want to kill him i know and i'm not saying she should yeah that she can but this is what she's saying she's mm-hmm. not saying you're lazy she's saying mm-hmm. this is what i see challenge of what i'm seeing one of them correct my impression it's a clean up for conversation. It's also correcting in love. You saw him exactly because the guy, all he hears is lazy. I do get it that I am in a gay way. However, we women say a lot of things. Let's be real. We say a lot of things. Uh-huh. Not necessarily insulting. Mm-hmm. We say a lot of things that mean something. Else. Okay, so Tina, how, how would you have said this? How would you have communicated this? Invited conversation. I would have said, look, I know you won't say this. Um, yes, yeah, so I won't, say, I won't call him lazy. Yeah, and I would have said, can we revisit this? Because it's no longer making And that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> I need to say, it's a fair conversation to have. I am not every woman. So I'm trying to be the devil's advocate here. In sense, and so not everybody is a mastery of saying things a certain way, which we we have to learn, and we're all exactly it's that's all growing. Mm-hmm. Learn to read his woman. If she's a mouth, mouth woman, <laughs> but he did mouth in. So we can't read women. But. <laughs> yeah, we're we're gonna have to end this section. So thank you so much. That was very enlightening. I think that um, to round this up again is to say that women do have roles and men have roles, and I think one of the key things that we're taking out of this is the importance of communication. Nobody's reading anybody's mind. And then people too should have clear conversations that I can make sense out of. So I'm not just assuming. So thank you very much. Uh, we'll move to the next topic, um, which is going to be focusing and unpacking the three P's. We'll start with, I think we should start with protection. I want to start with protection. So yes, thank you. Mm-hmm.